Here is the circuit diagram, the 12 volt DC need 8 and the transistor that is BC507 and the base goes to this LDR that is light dependent resistor and from there to this relay the relay is uh, the 12 volt DC and here is the self locking relay mechanism and the switch is reset button and, there, uh, and these, these are the different conditions when the voltage is applied you can find this book online the link has been given in the description here are the components we are going to arrange them in this breadboard and some jumper wires first of all we will put the source that is 12 volt DC and start arranging the components with this transistor that is BC547 according to this circuit diagram the collector pin of the transistor will go to this positive terminal then the resistor between the base and the positive terminal the resistor is 10 kilo ohm we have put the resistor between the base and the positive terminal Now we will put the jumper wire between this base and the LDR. And the another pin of the LDR will connect it with the 1 kilo ohm resistor to the negative. another jumper wire to this negative terminal now we will arrange the relay and one of the pin of this relay coil will be grounded and the another one will be uh, uh, with this transistor between the transistor and diode now we will arrange this diode between the emitter of the transistor and uh, the uh, one arm of this coil and now the trigger of the relay will be uh, with this positive terminal now connect the one of the pin of this relay coil uh, with this NO pin let's check out the connections whether they are well placed or not so that we don't get error in the end now we will put this buzzer between the output of the transistor and this relay and the another one will be grounded
Now we will put the push button between the positive terminal and the trigger so that we can reset the alarm once it is triggered. Here we have placed, now we will test it. Now we will place them all in this PCB. Now we will solder them on their position. Here I have made this before and this black pipe is to put the LDR so that it don't get distracted by the surrounding light. And here I have placed this variable resistor in place of 10 kilo ohm resistor and here this you know, volume control and the power source here we have this adapter we are going to check out the output it needed at least 10 to 12 volt to operate that alarm It's about 10 volt. Now we will test it with this adapter. Now it's ready to work. 